the instrument needs to be mounted on a sturdy flat bench. Install the reaction bottle holder. and lift the holder to place the reaction bottle under the holder. Insert the drain inlet tube into the rear socket and insert the plug into the large opening of the 5-hole bottle. Then insert the drain tube into the waste bottle and cover the lid. Place the electrode in the small opening of the reaction bottle and insert the electrode plug into the rear faucet. Pull out the small rubber plug and insert the dropper into the small hole of the rubber plug, then plug it into the small opening of the reaction bottle. Note that the dropper has a convex end facing up and connect the right end of the three-way valve to the top of the dropper. Put a magnetic stirrer and put a rubber stopper. Place the Carl Fisher pipette on the left side of the three-way valve into the Carl Fisher reagent bottle and cover it. Connect the power supply. Turn on the power and the screen lights up. Remove the rubber plug. Add an appropriate amount of anhydrous methanol to the reaction bottle until the electrode metal piece is immersed. Plug the stopper. Turn on the agitator and adjust the stirrer speed. Rotate the three-way valve to the left until the absorb indicator lights up then click absorb and the instrument starts to aspirate. When the red syringe is filled with Carl Fisher it stops automatically. Rotate the three-way valve to the right until the inject indicator light up. Auto titrate and the instrument starts to inject slowly until the ammeter pointer reaches 70 or higher. The instrument stops titrating and beeps, indicating the water of methanol in the reaction is completely consumed. Press the button reset to stop the beep. During the experiment if the current indicates that the value is lower than 70 astronomical units but the instrument has stopped the titration, press the button titrate again until the pointer points to 70 astronomical units or more and press the button reset. Calibration How much Carl Fisher reagent is required to calibrate 10 L of pure water inhalation of 10 L of pure water with a 10 L syringe. All added to the 5 hole bottle. Note that not to drip onto the bottle wall when dropping so as to prevent water from remaining on the bottle wall and affect the calibration result. Press the titrate button and the instrument starts titration. The display shows the amount of Carl Fisher reagent currently consumed. Until the right ammeter pointer reaches 70 or higher, the instrument stops titrating and beeps. After recoding the screen display data press reset. Repeat calibration 3-5 times. During the subsequent use the reagent in the red syringe is used up. Turn the three-way valve to the left until the absorb indicator lights up and click absorb to reabsorb.
and then rotate the three-way valve to the right after filling. The instrument automatically continues to titrate and stop but the data is invalid. Press the button reset, re-add the sample and test again. After calibration is completed calculate the average value V1 of the amount of Carl Fisher to be consumed by titrating 10 L of pure water. After calibration start the test. Weigh the sample with an electronic balance with an accuracy of 0.0001 grams and record the current mass M1. Then add a small amount of the sample to the 5 hole bottle. Weigh the sample mass again and record the current mass M2. Then the mass of the added sample is M equals M12. Press the titrate button and the instrument starts titration. The display shows the amount of Carl Fisher reagent currently consumed until the right ammeter pointer reaches 70 or higher. The instrument stops titration and beeps records the screen display data V2 and press reset. Calculate water content and put the previous data to the formula. During the test if the liquid level of the reaction cup reaches the upper limit of the liquid level, press discharge effluent to discharge the liquid in the bottle until the liquid surface just has not passed the electrode metal sheet. Release the button and immediately lift the waste liquid bottle to prevent all liquids on the reaction bottle are discharged. After the test is completed press the inject to add all the reagents of the syringe to the reaction bottle. Turn of the stirring switch and then press discharge effluent to discharge the liquid in the reaction bottle to the waste bottle. If the instrument is not used for long time the pipeline of the instrument should be cleaned. Pull out the hose received from Carl Fisher. Put it into the methanol solution. Repeated aspiration and infusion. until the hose becomes colorless and transparent. Then pull out the thin tube of the syringe. Open the syringe. Use the thin tube to suck up the residual liquid and reinstall it. Thank you.